Have you ever asked yourself, is diet soda bad or good for you? Actually, have you ever asked yourself, can diet soda help you lose weight? Sorry to break it to you, but the answer is no. Yes, definitely no. Actually, a Purdue researcher says, public health officials should tell people to avoid diet soda, much like they do with regular sugar sweets and soda. The famous Dr. Susan Swithers, PhD a professor of psychological sciences, and a behavioral neuroscientist at Purdue says, warnings may need to be expanded to include limiting intake of all sweeteners. Including no calorie sweeteners, she reviewed a set of recent studies aiming to answer the question, is diet soda bad for you? You'll be shocked when we tell you that she found that about 30% of American adults and 15% of American children ingest artificial sweeteners, including aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin. Dr. Susan Swithers said, there is a lot of pressure from the public health sector to find solutions to counter the rise of obesity and chronic disease, and there is a lot of money and business at stake for the food industry as it develops and promotes these products. Beverages are becoming political issues as government leaders and politicians seek regulation and taxing to limit their availability and consumption, but most of these measures exclude diet soft drinks because they are perceived as healthy. When it comes to making policy decisions, it's more important than ever that the science is considered, and that the public understands what the science says, in order to help them make the best health decisions. You should also know, that these artificial sweeteners confuse the body's natural ability to manage calories. Based on tasting something sweet, people tend to them overeat even if they drink diet soda, and get this. People who consume artificial sweeteners are twice as likely to develop metabolic syndrome too. Depression. This is very important for you to know. Drinking more than 4 cans a day of soda is linked to a 30% higher risk of depression. And, on the other hand, drinking 4 cups of coffee a day seem to offer protective effects, lowering depression risk 10%. The risk appeared to be greater for people who drank diet soda compared to regular soda. So, you should avoid soda, diet soda, and drink water, it's that simple. Kidney damage. A recent study has revealed that a long-term diet soda drinking causes a 30% greater reduction in kidney function. The study looked at people who regularly consumed diet soda over 20 years, and the results were shocking. Type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome study published in the journal Diabetes Care, has revealed that drinking diet soda daily is linked to a 36% higher risk of metabolic syndrome and a 67% increased risk of type 2 diabetes compared to non-diet soda drinkers. The experts also discovered that the artificial sweeteners may tamper with the gut-brain connection. This can lead to brain trickery that leads to metabolic derangements. Wiseman Institute of Science and Israel researchers was surprised when they found diet soda actually alters gut microbes in a way that increases the risk of metabolic diseases. What happened? Well, when researchers fed mice zero calorie sweeteners found in these drinks, including saccharin, aspartame, and sucralose, they developed glucose intolerance. Cardiovascular disease, a recent study, conducted by a group of researchers, at the University of Miami and Columbia University, followed more than 2,000 adults for 10 years. The study discovered that those drinking diet soda daily, were more likely to suffer a stroke or heart attack. They were also more likely to die from cardiovascular disease. This increased risk remained even when researchers adjusted for smoking, exercise, weight, sodium intake, high cholesterol, and other factors that could have contributed to the difference. Compromised lungs, ladies and gentlemen, drinking diet soda will increase your risk of developing asthma and COPD symptoms. Significantly, the more soda a person drinks, the higher the risk. A less protected brain, do you know what's aspartame? It's a common artificial sweetener in diet sodas, 
The experts have discovered that aspartame can chip away at the brain's antioxidant defense system. A recent study, conducted on animals, has revealed that the long-term consumption of aspartame leads to an imbalance in the antioxidant pro-oxidant status in the brain, mainly through the mechanism involving the glutathione dependent system.